Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. We're moving on to the tank tab for the Entente Coalition and with all of these tanks, with all of these options, we are going to do the whole thing in one sitting. So if you want all of your information about Entente tanks, here it is. Pure undiluted unit comparisons, the whole tab. And we have Gatsu with us to make that happen. So he asked me to start taking a look at the M91A Vihor compared to the T72M2 Moderna. These are, of course, your two true super heavy options. Um, Gatsu, take it away, man. So these super heavies are fairly strong into the game. The Vihor is especially one of the stronger things because it has uh, it's very fast. It's got a 22 front and it's 10 RPM. So it's a very above the average in terms of super heavies. It's very survivable thanks to 22 front and uh, the speed. Also has, uh, because of the 10 RPM, it's also very good against infantry and everything. It's like one of the best super heavies in the game, in my opinion. But comparatively to Moderna, the Moderna is one more AP, but it's uh, one less front. But actually it makes a very big difference when you are facing, uh, for example, Peace Pheasants, which fire the 26 heat. The problem with 21 front in that regard is uh, you they need three shots to kill you. So if you get uh, hit three times, you are dead. If you are hit uh, three times with uh, 22 front, you have uh, one HP left, If obviously, if you are at full HP. So the 26 hit does uh, 3.5 to Moderna and uh, 3 to Vihor. So it's much less survivable. Uh, the biggest downside is it's uh, auto cannon. As you can see, the accuracy is very subpar um, on the main gun. <laughs> oh, so the 55%, yeah, it, the 45% it, it, stabilizer. That is quite uh, a lot less. So 70% accuracy, 65 stabilizer for the M91A. That seems pretty phenomenal, honestly. You can attack in, you can fire while retreating. Don't really have the same capability with the Moderna, I'm guessing? Yes, it's so uh, very underwhelming. Mm -hmm. to say the least when it comes to like fighting other things you like very often if you have it on spec and especially if you have it uh, down wet it's missing so often that it's losing uh, some trace that it shouldn't also the problem with it is uh, some people don't really look at it but it's only 8 rpm which is like the lowest for the super heavy in the game like all super heavies at least usually at least have at least nine so you are also in a big disadvantage when it comes to that regard Gotcha. So that is the super heavies, but there's a lot left to talk about here. Um, what do you recommend we move on to next? Uh, one very good tank is uh, the Vihor, the base Vihor. If you compare it to the A Vihor, which is the super heavy, this is like a like heavy tank or like medium heavy tank. You don't pay that much for it compared to like a medium tank, but uh, if you look at the gun characteristics, it's the same. So it will perform as good uh, as the base, as the super heavy Vihor against infantry. And this tank is uh, very, very good uh, when you fight, uh, for example, a mech deck, because it, uh, it's that much better than, uh, for example, M84A. So it will kind of uh, bully the tanks and uh, the characteristics of it are great. Yeah, the one thing that I do want to ask you about, though, is for 130 points, 18 frontal armor, there are a fair number of coalitions that can hit 18 frontal armor a lot cheaper. Does the gun uh, sort of make up for it there, or do you have to ever really be aware that you only have 18 frontal armor on this tank? Yeah, the 18 frontal armor is actually a big, big issue, because uh, you get um, two, two shot from like 26 heat, and you are dead compared to like 19 front if I am not mistaken. So that's like one of the biggest downsides of having 18. But on the other hand, you're surviving like 30 heat, like one shot. But I think the tank itself is uh, very good because no tank like that in the same price range uh, has the same capabilities as this tank. Gotcha. It's so like high speed and uh, very high RPM. So since we're taking a look at all the tanks, let's just go ahead and throw these in here. We have an AV Hoor, we have a standard V Hoor, uh, four of them at Hardened would be my inclination there. Uh, what else do we do to fill up this tab? Well, usually, uh, depending if you want to play 1v1 or a team game, if you were playing a team game, you would um, hope you would put in another, you would put in Moderna because in team games, the, there is still a super heavy meta. So you need as many super heavies as possible. So you're a, uh, not hurting yourself so much when you lose them. 
Gotcha, but let's say for 1v1, so we're excluding the Moderna, we have these two instead. Um, I guess, is that the right choice? Uh, yes, it's definitely the right choice to have the, these two for a 1v1. And then, like, if you want another card, uh, it's the M84A, which is uh, one of the best medium tanks in the game. It's been nerfed, but it's still very strong. It's uh, got very high AP. The armor is, like, subpar, but it's not so bad. How does that compare? So 90 points for the T72M1M and the M1M has an ATGM. Uh, the main difference is that uh, I, I would say the M1M is uh, only viable if you are playing, for example, uh, Armor the deck, which uh, in which you can utilize the Swerve Missile. But uh, in most cases, you just want to go for the M84A because of the extra 15% accuracy, which is uh, very huge. And it also has like one extra AP. So trade-off is uh, almost uh, like insanely in favor of M84A. Gotcha. It seems like what we're really looking at here is that Yugoslavian tanks sort of go a little ways toward fixing the stereotypical Red 4 bad tank accuracy problem. Oh yes, uh, exactly. It's the case and also they have the autoloader. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So six of these at Hardens and do we take a fourth tank or is this your whole tap? Uh, this would be my whole tap. Fair enough. Now, I do have to ask you why you're overlooking the veritable PT-76B. Well, if you are, if you wanted to have a cheap fire support tank, I would definitely go for the Paton, which is uh, very good, actually, at the, the price point. It's like very good against IVs, etc. It's definitely not seen that often, but it can be particularly uh, powerful. Also, when compared to the vehicle tap uh, tanks that you have, it's gotcha. like much stronger. But huh. like out of the other tanks, like the honorable mention is like the T72S. So can also be good. let's see, T72S. I'm missing it. I do apologize. It's uh, at the bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, 125 points. Yeah, I know uh, Mint Jellyman really likes these. I think, and uh, he's also a very skilled player. Um, it's just gonna end up. I a little clustered for the really high price point, right? So if you're already bringing the VHOR at 100, 130, just add up the number of points in the tank tab if you're taking the T72S, the M91, and the M91A. It, yeah, they overlap uh, a lot, so it's uh, not worthwhile to take both of them at the same time, but uh, the T72S is uh, particularly powerful when uh, fighting like the medium tanks, and it's also like survivable with four top, but uh, it only comes down to it having the severe missile so you can do the ATGM trick when you fire like your uh, main cannon, main gun, and then you turn it off and you fire the sphere and then you turn the sphere off. So you're practically like getting uh, the sphere off meanwhile your main gun is reloading. Like gotcha. That's the whole point of the tank. And once again, you are going to run up against the, the problem where it just doesn't have nearly as good accuracy. So that is the entire Entente tank tab and uh, at least one recommendation on how to do this for 1v1s. If you do need cheaper tanks as well, which I often do, I, I love the Charioteer whenever I play Baltic, Moto, or Unspec as an example. Take a, uh, take a look at the Patton. It's not going to kill a lot, but for Frontal Armor 15 points, you could get a worse deal. So thank you all for hanging around. I hope you found it informative. We'll have another video for you guys tomorrow.